Columnist Ross Douthat has a new piece for the New York Times titled, The Trump Trial Date is a Big Mistake. In it, he writes this, quote, under ideal circumstances, the trial of a major presidential contender would be completed before voters begin passing judgments of their own. But instead, we're headed for a world where the trial and the campaign are fully intertwined, with each primary associated with a different snapshot of the case's progress. The pileup of trials still seems like a boon to Trump's renomination effort, along with the core Trump bloc that will vote for him no matter what. There's another bloc that's open to alternatives, but rallies to him when he's perceived to be liberalism's major target to beat Trump in the primaries. Challengers would need part of that block to resist the rallying impulse and swing their way instead. So timing Trump's prosecution, but not the final outcome of the trial, to some of the most important primaries seems more likely to cement his nomination than to finally make his poll numbers collapse. We should point out it's not necessarily liberalism pursuing Donald Trump. It's the Justice Department pursuing him for his alleged crimes, Caddy K. Um, there has been concern expressed primarily because of that date that Ross has identified on the eve of Super Tuesday, that it feeds into his argument, the one he's pitching anyway, that this is an attempt to keep him from being the nominee, to keep him from being president, and to sideline him on the eve of Super Tuesday. Yeah, I mean, it's an argument that he can make easily because of the timing. And now, we don't know why Judge Chutkin chose that particular date, but it's very easy for Donald Trump supporters and for Trump himself to say it was chosen uh, in order to stop me being out on the campaign trail on what is one of the most important moments of the nominating process. I mean, it, gets, it reminds me a little bit of something Jack Goldsmith, the former um, George W. Bush legal advisor wrote a, a, about a month ago saying it's in, so important in this process, not only that justice be done in this particular case, in the Trump particular case and around January the 6th, but also that the American justice system survives all of this and the pressures that this is putting on the justice system and perceptions of impartiality around the justice system is also, is also a critical issue. And the timing of this might lead to even more stress on those perceptions of independence in the justice system. And, and I think as Americans come out of this, they have to be able to say, look, we not only had the Trump issue and that that was dealt with fairly, but that our justice system survived the whole process intact and with credibility left over. And, and, and this is the kind of thing that makes it easy for Donald Trump to say this is a political process and I'm part of a political witch hunt rather than be able to say this is, you know, a fair legal process. I don't know why that date was chosen, but it, it, is, it is something of an own goal for Donald Trump. And as many people have pointed out, there's a good way to keep your legal calendar free, and that's not to commit a whole bunch of very serious alleged crimes.